We made a pork tenderloin recipe in another video. Take a moment to check it out. It's really simple. It's for a rotisserie. But on this video, we're going to make a Japanese style zucchini. It's going to remind you of a lot of a hibachi zucchini whenever you go out to the hibachi restaurants. So what I've done is what we're going to do is we're going to take two zucchinis. And I'm going to take it and cut the ends off of it. I'm going to cut into thirds. Chopping this is extremely easy. Cut them in half. Again, cut them in thirds. So you don't want an overly large zucchini because you kind of want them in bite size. Now, while we're doing that, over here I've got a uh, skillet. To that skillet I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. If you want, you can use vegetable oil. We're going to let that heat up just a little bit while we're cutting these. Now I've already cut up one of these zucchinis, so we're using two zucchinis. And I've already also roughly chopped one onion. And you want the onion to be a sweet onion. Alright, move this up to the side here. Now once this oil gets hot and warm. It's beginning to get that way. We're not cooking all day, I mean, working outside all day long, so we're looking forward to this meal. Uh, we're we're going to also add a little bit later, we're going to add some teriyaki sauce and some soy sauce, a little red pepper flake, some toasted sesame seeds, and some black pepper to this recipe. It's like I said, it's really simple. Yeah, it's gonna, only going to take about 10 minutes max to make. All right, that's beginning to get running. It looks good. Right, we're going to go ahead and add our vegetables. And we're going to cook this for two minutes. Alright, it's been a couple of minutes. The onions are becoming just a little bit more translucent. The peas are beginning to get heated up. Now to that, we're going to add one and a half tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. I can't talk and measure at the same time. We're also going to add um, three fourths of a tablespoon of soy sauce. We're going to add one fourth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. We just wanted just a, just a few on there, not much. That's probably more than enough. And an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. That's probably enough. Get a stir. And now we're going to cook this. You want to cook it until you're... Everyone has a different uh, opinion on how you want your zucchini cooked. If you want it more well done, you can cook it well done. If you want more al dente, you can cook more al dente. But we're going to cook this for at least another three or four minutes. All right, we want ours more on the al dente side, so this looks good for us. Again, that's just a couple of minutes. To that, we're going to add three-fourths of a teaspoon of toasted sesame seeds. We're, we have some black toasted sesame seeds. That's what we're going to use right now. So going to sprinkle that across the top. Help get that a little bit of that nutty flavor. Give that a nice stir. Turn it off. Whoa. And there we go. We have some nice Asian zucchini. We hope that you enjoy this recipe.